because I'm really interested in collaboration um, and collaborating um, in between different forms. Um, I think it's really interesting to expand um, one form um, if you're not, uh, if it's not the thing that you are most familiar with, you might also bring something new to that um, practice and likewise you can understand how you can make it more accessible to someone who's not from that background as well. I'm definitely going to walk away with some great kind of just exercises for creativity like the boxes and the like yoga pretzels and ways of meeting new people and ways of collaborating with people who are um, in different like not dancers or not new movement practitioners so I think that it's really interesting to build a language with those people and connect with people um, not necessarily on movement terms but on something that we can all share and yeah. For me it was um, really fun actually to think about how I could use non-art or aesthetic things to try to make art. You have an idea and you have to present it to other people and part of the process of presenting it to other people and talking to them is they ask clarifying questions. So you learn how to pitch an idea that you have to a very diverse audience and you also learn to speak across practices and discipline. Differences would be, well yeah, just trusting ideas straight away and being like okay let's make a show in 48 hours about something and that's fine and and that's something that I then want to carry on and take away with me and use in my own practice after today. I thought it sounded intriguing and I liked the immediacy of it. I, I liked the idea that uh, I would, you know, that you make something and you have something to create um, and show and that it's not just a workshop where you're exploring process and ideas but that, that might be funneled and channeled towards something. Explore different different games and different uh, methods of dealing with ideas and content and different ideas of how you would interact with a group. Um, it's pushing your boundaries. And that can bring really nice aspects, you can learn a lot and grow a lot, but at the same time when you're working in such a short frame of time you need to get things done quite quickly. I think that process is quite fast and something we keep make myself in, in, inspired in a new way, so I just want to see how it works. A variety of artists from different backgrounds has been really challenging, but so rewarding. It's opened my mind up to so many different possibilities and so many different ways to create theatre or to create a performance or something to invite an audience to attend or to take part of. The encouragement of creativity is quite similar as well. There seems to be a real sense of freedom on this weekend to just take, uh, create, change, mould, reshape, make it your own, um, evolve the work. And I think that's quite similar to the way that I make theatre with, with my company. Be with people with, from different disciplines and make something quick and meet new people and be creative in a really fast-paced environment basically. Working, you kind of forget to have fun while making art even though your process is creative. So this gave me a permission to you know play around and um, it's always really good to bear in mind <laughs> and to um, yeah just say yes to different things. So it also gave me actual models through those like quite funny practices that we did. A research and development opportunity or work workshopping a process of creating something, um, different culture, trying to find a different relationship between participants, slightly more hungry, slightly more condensed, slightly more pressured environments. I don't know. It's, it's been really interesting. It's been really interesting. There's no definitive kind of director or, or something like that, so it's, it's a really open collaborative process. I really enjoyed the um, the structures that were put in place to kind of focus the mind, focus the work, focus the intentions, um, asking things to be done now when they've barely just started. It, it, for me it's interesting because it forces you to answer things, forces you to go with your gut um, and, and makes you make decisions that you maybe would uh, put off and you just have to make a choice and go with it. And I've, I've really appreciated that. 
you, you know, your comments actually helped me to recognize that better, mm -hmm. which is that it's a very free model. So in a sense, there's an element of you put the essential elements in there, you kickstart it off, and then, you know, it's like putting a cake in the oven. Mm -hmm. You then wait for it to come out and, you, you know, it may or may not work. And, you know, and that's interesting for me because I want to see if it can exist in multiple spaces and therefore could also be used for knowledge exchange between spaces. Um, it's not a drift artistic residency where everyone is an initiator and so there's a very specific dynamic where everyone has their own project there. Yeah. And it's not um, a just open collaborative session because not everyone is a collaborator. And, and so it's a meeting between a half one thing and half the other that we're trying to figure out what it means. Yeah. It's, it's not... Uh it's only a pilot event, so it's not fixed. <laughs> we are still hacking the hackathon. <laughs> so the approach is enormous, and I've already described really what I'm most excited about, which is to bring kind of knowledge or data from other industries and to let artists have a go at, at coming up with different ways of looking at it.